Alright, what is up everybody? This is Ahoy Mateys here, and today we're going to be recording Hungercraft's 38th official match here on a new map. And it looks like a snowy theme map. Sorry for the little glitch here, but we're gonna have to go. Combatants are running into the cornucopia. We see the first kill of the game was Encry X Encryptor X slain by Toxin Edge here. See if we can see any more quick deaths. Not a lot of fighting at the start of the game. Not a lot of confrontations. A lot of not a lot of death at the start. I don't know what's going on with this uh, chunk error. Um, but yeah, looks like we're having a fight here. It looks like Tori the Dragon just took out Emperor Dawn, and that she is just heading off in this direction. And a daft was just taken out by Tigon, so let's go to Tigon here. Tigon has a wooden a axe, one of the very good weapons to find in the cornucopia at the start of the game, because you'll be able to use it to chop down wood and make yourself a better weapon, and you can use it as a weapon to kill people, other players, which you use that well against a daft and got the kill. Let's go to Sean was taken. Um, he looks like he's just making himself a stone sword. He appears to be solo. Which I would I wouldn't assume a, s a player like Sean be solo in an official, but it appears that he is all by himself here, taking advantage of an oasis. We see a couple of deaths here. We see Marshall B one two nine taken out by ADZ, and Tori the Dragon actually taken out by Bloxy. So ADZ's got that armor. He's got those leather pants, and he looks like he's just found a little farm here. So he's going to be able to mine that. And we see another player coming up on him. It looks like a competition here. Zerius is hitting Troider and he takes him out there. Zerius takes out Troider. And oh, and ADZ and Zerius are fighting, and ADZ takes him out. ADZ's got that armor. Oh, and it appears my Squishy Turtle and ADZ are teaming in this match. Okay, they are teamed. And yes. So, always oh, another competition here. It looks like. Who is this? Um, this is the video Wiz being chased down by ADZ and Cool K1070 by uh, Cool K, which is my Squishy Turtle. Um, the video Wiz is solo, it appears, uh, but this looks like sh looks like Kajak for you is coming out with an iron sword. It looks like, but he's taking some hits. Oh, and he's taken out by ADZ. This team is just dominating. That's actually a stone sword, I think. Um, but this team is just dominating this match so far. Let's go to the video with see what he's up, up to. Looks like he's just got some food and is just going to be going around in there with his food. Let's see if I can go on fancy real quick here. Oh, and it looks like a team is chasing him down. We've got the Lukes being chased down by Bloxy. I don't know if they're teamed. Yes, it appears that they are teamed. And I don't know if the video was is going to be truced with them. I don't think he is, since it looks like they're in mad pursuit against him. I don't know what just damage that just happened there. So we're going to see a pursuit here. Two players against one. The video was is a good PvP. He's won two officials. I think he's even won three. I'm not sure. But he's going to go up against a team of two, and they both have stone swords, and he only has a wooden sword. So I think they're going to leave him alone as they see another team in the distance over here. This team is consisting of a few players, two players. Um, this team is oh the Luke's taken out by ADZ. This team is Jay Milso and Sean was taken, and then the video was is over there. I don't know if he's gonna truce with them. He might truce with them. Okay. Oh. It looks like we've got a team of four here that I know that's probably not allowed. Uh, who's this? This is Dart314. It's ca sort of hard to see names with shaders, which is a little bit weird. Sort of hard to see the names. Um, oh, and Linkry actually taken out by Bloxy. Let's go to let's go to Bloxy. My Squishy Turtle was taken out by Bl by uh, Linkry before Bloxy took him out. So I don't know if ADZ is still in here. Bloxy, have you seen him taking out a, a couple players in this match? I think. ADZ must have gotten separated from my squishy turtle and ADZ's in a hole, so let's go to someone else. Let's go to Feetin just taken out by Emperor Zant. 
and oh this team of two just took out a team of two Feetin and Crux's nation they just took out a team of two here looks like they're just gonna sort out the items let's go to Jay Milso um, his team with Sean was taken doesn't look like they have anyone else on their team I don't know where Dart went Dart is over here he appears to be teaming with Video Wiz so that four man team split up into two two man squads to not break the rules Oh, who is this? It looks like it is Floppyfish, who appears to be solo in this match, which uh, you don't see usually don't see a great player like Floppyfish playing solo. Um, that's generally not what happens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just be right back. I have to get some water. I'll be right back. Hopefully no action happened while I was gone. Um, it just looks like some people are talking. Let's go to ADZ. Looks like he's talking in chat. Um, it looks like he is t is by solo. I think. Yeah, he looks like he's solo. Oh, he's using TNT. I don't know what he's trying to do there. Oh, and he explodes a hole in the ground. I don't know what the purpose of that was. Oh, and he's fighting against someone. Dark Voidix, and he actually takes him out there. So good job to ADC for taking him out there. Um, let's go to Flobbitfish. Um, Flobbitfish is teaming with Bloxy. Oh, two great players in this match that have gotten... Uh, Floppy hasn't gotten any, uh, many kills in this match. I don't think he's even gotten a single kill in this match. But uh, Bloxy's gotten a few kills in this match. And Bloxy's... We've seen him in a couple of my other streams... He, he usually does really well in Hunger Games, so we're going to have to see how he does in this match. Um, gain a frame rate drop. That was weird as heck. But, uh, yeah. It was just a strange frame rate drop. Shouldn't be happening. Um, it's becoming nighttime, so that means mobs are going to be spawning. And not the greatest for these players. Let's go to Nagore. We haven't seen her yet in this game. Ugh, typing fail. Looks like she's just in a dark hole. Oh, wait. And it is a team of three here. It looks like Mateo, 1300, Nagore, Classy Kiwi, Mr. Classy Kiwi. Um, they're smelting something in there that I can't see. They're using the furnace to their light, I think. They're just going to mine in the night, play it safe. That's always a good thing to do. Oh, someone just hit, took damage there. Probably just a punch. Let's go to any other team suit they're doing. Let's go to Floppy. He's probably mining in this game. Oh, and it looks like they're trying to farm some some mob loot, such as uh, zombie items and such. And um, looks like they're just oh, and ADZs are coming up on them. Oh, he is truced with them. So they're this team of three. This is a very strong team. We have ADZ101, Floppy Fish, and Bloxy, three very good PvPers. And I don't know why Floppy is using a wooden sword against those mobs. Oh, and Floppy doesn't see the zombie coming up behind him. It hits him once, but he's quick on his reflexes. He should really get a stone sword. I don't know whether he's just using the wood sword to um, farm mobs and saving the durability on his stone sword. Looks like they've actually spawned a snow golem. Which is weird, because it's actually throwing snowballs. I didn't think they actually did that. That's cool. Um, and ADZ is just... Oh, Bloxy. Very close there with the creeper. ADZ is just sort of chilling here. Let's go to someone else, so we don't just focus on these people. Let's go to... Uh, Jamelso. Jamelso is underground in a hole with Sean. Looks like they're just chilling in here. Um, probably going to be mining for some resources. Uh, let me just pull my monitor a little bit closer. Okay, that's better. So we see them both there. Let's go to the video to see what he and his teammates are doing. Looks like they found a little house here. This is the farm that I believe ADZ raided at the beginning of the match. Um, and it looks like he is just sort of using this as a refuge. It has some light sources, so he won't be losing sanity here. Um, and it's pretty well guarded against the mobs. Uh, I think someone just added 
each other to a Skype call. Let's go to Emperor Zant and Twister's team. It looks like they're still mining. They have a pretty good mine, mining system here. It looks like they're covering some good ground with their mine. I wonder if they found any iron. Um, it looks like they're doing pretty well right now. Let's go to Mr. Classy Kiwi and Nagore's team. Uh, Mr. Classy Kiwi. We've got Mr. Classy Kiwi up here, sort of playing the guard. We've got Mateo mining, and we've got M Nagore a little bit um, further down there mining. Um, yeah, so let's see who else can we teleport to. We haven't seen Toxin for a while. It looks like he is playing this match solo, so that's cool that we see. Oh, no, he's actually a team with Tegon. So we we see a lot of teams. Generally, there's a lot of teams. The official matches you usually don't see a lot of solo players since it's sort of a team effort to win because there's a lot of teams and you have to usually use a team to beat the teams. Let's just go to Tegon and see what he's up to. I think he's just mining and he's in a dark thing. So let's just go to spawn here. Oh, can't go to. Let's go to flop. Oh wait, no. Tegon is here. He's just mining some. Trying to get through the snow here. Got a drink of water. Get rid of real quick. It's not a big deal at all. Okay, let's go to the video woods. Let's see what he's doing here. Looks like he is just sort of. He and his teammate, Dart, are just sort of wandering around this structure. It's very dark, so I can't really see very well. Um, change this back onto fancy. Looks just a bit better. Get that uh, smooth lighting on. All oh, that just looks. If you guys haven't used the shaders mod, you have a good computer. I would recommend trying it out, especially if you're not going to be playing. It's very computer demanding, meaning that you probably won't get very much FPS. Um, like right now, I'm only locking at 60 FPS, and I have a very good computer. I get almost, I get about around 600 on average on uh, the settings I play on in on vanilla Minecraft. So. And uh, yeah, but let's go to Greep88. We haven't seen him yet in this game. Looks like he's playing solo. It looks like it. Yeah, he's solo in this match. And he's a pretty well known. Oh, no, he's with Darth Pig. Darth Pig just appeared out of nowhere there. Okay. He's teaming up with Darth Pig. So we're seeing a lot of good two man teams. We have a couple of three man teams as well. And there's going to be a feast starting in around six minutes so uh, yeah so six minutes I don't even know I don't think this is actually six minutes I don't, I don't want to do math right now I already do it in school so that's good enough for me um, it just looks like they're here they're just chilling I think it's around fi almost five minutes till the feast um, so the feast usually spawns in the morning so yeah Let's see, who else can we go to? Can we go to, um, Tlape again? Oh, wait. They just jumped, both jumped out at the same time. Took some fall damage there. Uh, yeah, it looks like a lot of teams are gathering snowballs, and those can be very useful if you're being chased down by a team, and you want to sort of put some distance between um, yourself and the team. It's usually very good to uh, do that. Um, let's go to Twister. Twister and Emperor. Well, I'm not a very good typer. I'm sorry. Uh, we've got Twister920 here. It looks like they're still in their mine shaft. A lot of people underground, and the night night usually are very boring in official matches. Let's go to Sean Mistaken and his teammate, Sean Mistaken and Jay Milso, I think I believe. I don't know where Jay Milso is. Jay Milso is here, so I just missed him. Looks like they're smelting something. Probably iron, either that or food. Well, they're not actually smelting anything. They have a furnace here. Um, I wonder if the, any of them have iron swords. Probably would have iron swords by now. Um, a little players. Let's go to Bloxy and ADZ's team. Looks like they're just sort of at the same place just smelting something waiting for small oh baby zombies coming up on bloxy adc takes it out very simply there floppy looks like he's underground mon mining um and uh great strategy during the night is to mine because 
There's so many mobs on Hungercraft on the surface during night that it's not even worth it to try to hunt people. Because you will just get slaughtered and it, it's better to play it safe, especially for these official matches when winning really counts a lot. Um, let's go to Mateo. Mateo and his teammate, Mr. Classic Kiwi and Nagore. Looks like he's just chilling down here. And his little, they have a little thirsting setup, which is, which is cool. Um, looks like they're playing around with some fishing rods. I don't think that's actual damage. Um, and Mateo is just chilling here. Um, let's go to Tigon. Tigon and his teammate talk some edge. I just sort of chilling in this tower. It's a good place to be because there's cool light there and it's and it's also uh, pretty protected from mobs. Oh, and a creeper's gonna explode. And I think he took some some knockback damage. I don't know if he actually took any actual a lot of damage from that creeper. I don't think he did. It looks like these guys are gonna as it's morning now. They're gonna probably head to the cornucopia. It looks like. Let's stay at the cornucopia and see what teams get here first see if any of the big teams have any fights around the cornucopia uh, we're lagging a little bit we're getting 30 fps right now which isn't that good but um, it's kind of lagging a little bit because there's some mobs around us so we're going to want to change our render distance down just one so we can keep that at a constant 60. Um, some, good, some good stuff going on around the corn not a lot of action Feast is starting soon, in all, about two minutes the feast will be starting, so teams are going to want to make their way there. It appears that this is a remake of the Iceland's map. This looks like the same cornucopia as the Iceland's map. It sort of looks like a revamped Iceland's, if that's, if that's just me. But this is a new map, so that is cool. We see a player, it looks like over here, nope, it was just a shadow. Okay, um, let's go to Falafe and ADZ's team and see what they're doing. Looks like they're still chilling here. I don't know where ADZ went. He is at the corn. It looks like he's separated from his team. If I were him, I wouldn't do that. So that's not a great idea. There's a lot of other teams in this match. And he's just using his um, stone shovel, which is a good... It's a good weapon or a good tool for him to make for this, especially since there's a lot of s structures made of snow. He's so gonna be able to push through all those snow bugs. The interior of this cornucopia is exactly like the um, Iceland's map. It, it's a little bit different, but it looks fairly similar. Oh, we see a player coming up on the cornucopia. This looks like it's floppy fish. So it looks like this strong team of three has. Took an o has taken over the cornucopia and has claimed it for themselves. Um, I don't think any other players are going to go. Let's see, Emperor Zan and his teammate are still sitting here. Let's see if any other teams are doing anything. Let's go back to the corn. See what items these, this team gets. If there's any action here. Um, it just looks like they're just chilling around the corn. Not much to say about this. It's a really nice map. I really like how it's sort of open, but the structures on it really make for a great map. Oh, we see a player here. This looks like Sean was taken. I don't know where his teammate Jay Milso is. He might be behind him. He's just waiting for Jay Milso. Sean's got some iron, so that's going to help him if he's going to go in and attack this team. And chests are falling from the skies. There is our feast right there, j ladies and gentlemen. Some good armor in this in these chests. Holy mother of something there are so many items and we see a player over here this is um toxin edge if i don't don't believe you toxin edge being chased down by someone else it looks like t gone oh, so that's his teammate and if we're gonna see a fight here i don't think so this is that team of three with nagore um players all around the chest trying to grab as much loot as they can easy with some good armor sort of just walking around and uh, that chest was already looted, I believe. Let's go to Floppe, see what he is doing. Oh, and Blocks, he has full armor, almost full gold armor. That's a lot of armor. A lot of armor in this first feast. Almost too much, as, as Floppe said. Almost a little bit too much armor. Let's 
going to make it so players that didn't get any items from that feast are just going to be at a severe disadvantage, which is not what Huncraft is about. It's about your strategies are supposed to be, you're supposed to be able to, you know, use as many strategies as you can mine the whole game and still have a chance to win against a big team. Because usually the big teams are the, oh, and a big t team kill there. Looks like this team of three just took out Emperor Zant and Twister, their, that two-man team. And they are just eating up to regen from that fight. I didn't get that on camera, which is a shame. Let's go to Creep here. Um, it looks like he and his teammate are just sort of wandering around the outside of the map. Um, trying to stay away from combat. You usually see some players like this team that usually stay till the very end of the game because they wait out as much combat as they possibly can. And that's definitely a strategy that they could do. Let's go to ADZ. Looks like this team is just sort of, every team is sort of just hunting around. And ooh, it looks like Oh, it looks like this team of three is about to fight the other team of three. We're gonna see a giant team fight here. But it looks like this other team is running away. They might be low on supplies after taking out um, Emperor Zant and Twister. It looks like a lot of players are wielding iron swords. So mining really for this team that here that really didn't get many chests from the feast, mining really did come in handy for them. We see a bow being drawn by Mateo. And it looks like ADZ is trying to cut him off here. He's going to hit Nagor, and we're going to see some fights here. Oh, and he's hitting. They're hitting each other. Nagor actually taken out by ADZ. And Floppy with an Ender Pearl. Perfect throw. Throws one right in front of him. Bloxy, a couple of hits on him. Probably one more hit, and he's dead. He's going to throw some get some bow shots off. Floppy really good with that bow. And he blocks Mr. Classy Kiwi taken out by Bloxy. Wow. What a game. What a game, guys. What a game. So that team of 380Z, Floppy Fish, and Bloxy just taken out a huge team in this match. So um, we're down to 11 players. We're down to the three-man team of Owen oh, Tegon actually betrayed by his teammate. Oh, in the middle of a fight, that was probably by accident. And they, that whole team is taken out by the video whiz and darts. So we're left to nine players. So... I'm assuming that he shot him by accident. I don't think he would kill him. That wouldn't seem like something he would do. But... Yeah, let's... That was a bit strange if you ask me. Let's go to J. Milso. Um, he's with Sean. Looks like they've sort of stayed out of conflict of the first feast. They've got some good armor. Prob not as much as Floppe's team, but a good amount. Sean is pretty armored up here. I don't know if this team's going to be able to take out the huge force in this match. Um, so we're down to a three-man team of Bloxy, um, Floppe, Fish, and ADZ. We're down to this two-man team, J. Milso, and Sean was taken. And then we have Dart314 and Bloxy, er, and, and Greep, or er, Dart314. <laughs> And uh, the video is, and we have Dark, Darth Pig, and Greep88. So all teams here, one three-man team and a couple of two-man teams. No solo players left in this match, which is kind of a bummer. You usually, want to root for the solo player, the underdog. Let's go to ADC. This team is just sort of hunting around. I don't know if they're going to try to go for another team, another fight here. The video is, in, is chatting with his teammate, saying they should find some cows, which is good because you can get some leather and some food. Some cows are very useful. Oh, so it looks like they're actually chasing down Jay Milso here. I don't know where Sean is. Oh, and we're going to see Sean coming from behind here. I don't know if he's going to be able to uh, take Floppy. Floppy's a little bit behind his team. Looks like Sean's sort of delaying, sort of just left his teammate there. Yeah, Sean abandoned his teammate. I don't know if that was a smart choice by Sean to leave his teammate behind. Oh, he's trying to cut them off. I don't know if this is going to end well because the team of two. We've seen Enderpearl thrown by ADZ. 
um, forcing Jamos to run a different direction. I don't think Jamos is going to be, be able to get out of this alive. Floppy and Ender Pearls in front of him. They're playing Patty Cake with him, and they take him out right there. So Sean is left alone. Jamos is taken out. This team of three continues to slay everyone in this match. Very, very, very strong team here. All of them have full armor, I think, except for Floppy. He's missing some pants there. Um, but very armored up. And Sean doesn't really have much of a chance he, unless he could try to form a, a truce with one of the other teams we could see we, we should see him trying to form another truce so they can have another three man team to try to put up one of a fight another fight against this huge team right here um, yeah but yeah the cornucopia feast is starting in about 10 minutes so definitely not something to really worry about probably 11 minutes actually yeah 11 minutes till the next feast so nothing really to worry about but there. Let's go to Sean, see what he is doing after he lost his teammate. Oh, and he looks like he's being tracked down by the team now, making use of those player trackers. Not really any room for players to hide anymore after the addition of player trackers. So Sean just looks like he's sort of running away. Great, he's probably going to try the strategy that you all should do when you're being chased down by a team. The most, the only thing you can really do is try to run as much as you can till the team separates. It looks like ADC separated from his two teammates. So Sean has sort of a slightly better chance to take out this team. But if I were Sean, I would wait until I could get a little bit more ground on this team before I turn around and attempt to fight. Because um, usually players try to cut, cut the other players off. Like Floppy he could have turned around and started to attack Bloxy there and then try to kill him. And uh, but it looks like he's going to get cut off here. Um, this team is making very good use of Ender Pearls. Um, Ender Pearl in front of their people and trying to knock them back into each other. It looks like Sean's going to try to throw a juice. He's throwing some Ender Pearls. Don't know what he's trying to do here. Trying to run a bit more. He gets hit with a snowball. Um, he's just chucking some snowballs. That's not doing him any good. That's knocking him forward, if anything. Um, and Sean's just running for his dear life. ADC tries to cut him off, but Sean's doing a very good job of running away from this team. There's a lot of pressure on him to do this. Um, and he's just getting punched forward. Those are just helping him. They can use the snowballs to hit each other forward, which is what they should be doing. Not hitting Sean forward. Oh, and they hit him, and I think he just hit um, Sean there with one iron sword crit. And he hits him again there, so Sean's probably pretty low on health. Snowballs is actually a very good strategy to, sh to hit your other teammates into the person you're trying to kill. Proving to be a very good strategy for them. Sean is just running for his dear life here. Not much he can really do in this situation except for try to run them out. And hopefully the, this team, I don't think this team is going to give up. He's got some pretty decent ground on Bloxy and definitely a good decent ground on Floppy. I don't know where Floppy even went there. But if he tries to run a little bit more, he could regen. It looks like ADC just stopped. I don't know why. And Sean, it looks like Sean's going to get away, but he's getting attacked by a spider. That was a close call for Sean, but I think he's going to get out of this one alive. He gets some time to regen, but he's actually taking damage. I don't know what is that. Probably sanity damage. Or he might have just eaten a spider. I am not sure. Oh, and Sean is actually taken out by a spider. He must have been severely low on health after that confrontation with the team, and then he ate the spider eye, and then that spider just took him out. GG spider, good kill. Let's go to Greep88. Looks like they're just trying to farm a little bit. Not a lot of players hunting except for this big team of Falape Fish, this strong team. And um, Falapes maybe might be able to get some pants here to complete his armor set. Yeah, I think there's, I see some leather pants there. So she, she should be able to complete a set. Um, I don't know why he hasn't picked those up yet. But this game is just sort of being dominated by this team here. Not a lot of action going on by the other teams. Just mainly this team. And that's why he's using the jack-o'-lantern to use sanity to satisfy his sanity level because if you didn't know in Hungercraft you have to be around sanity around light to keep your sanity bar from going down there's going to be a GUI right there that tells you but yeah so apparently that was a close one for the video whiz and it looks 
like they're just using their satisfying their thirst right now and smelting some stuff probably food maybe even iron let's go to video wizzy because he's talking quite a bit in chat they're sort of just walking around here is that the cornucopia it looks like it's not the cornucopia if i didn't I'm mistaken there's a team in here i think of Greep and his teammate no this is their base that they're taking refuge in this is a good base for them they got a furnace they're pretty set up here got a chest i don't think there's anything in there and yeah so let's go ahead and tp to bloxy see what his team is up to still smelting this not a lot of action going on using that to drop their junk items in there probably pretty good uh video wish is same back to vid um, let's go to creep here they're just chilling in here we're down to that team and then yeah two three teams basically yeah three teams three men team and two two men teams Video was makes a comment about this being the official, the shortest official ever, and I don't think that is true. I think there was one that lasted around, uh, I don't even know, like 15 minutes. The Western, or it was either the Western or the K Caverns official. The group looks like they're leaving their whole. Oh, it looks like there's a team here. Bloxy's team is um, about to attack Greep's team. Oh, and Floppy's taking some damage. I don't know what that damage is from. Oh, he ate a spider eye. Uh, we're gonna see them trying to sort of get into this base here sort of dissect their way in figure out how they're gonna get into this efficiently oh and we're gonna see some fighting here Greep taken out by Floppe and Darth Pig taken out by Floppe as well two quick kills by the team you see they're just dominating this game it's down to just five players Dart and the video whiz and this team of three if it was up to me, I'm going to put my money on this, not this team, but the other team. They have a severe armor advantage and player advantage to this team. I just don't think, as much as a good PvPer, the video whiz is, and Dart's elite PvPer as well. He's very good. I've watched him. He's, he's good at PvP. I just don't think they have what it takes to take down this team of three that is so strong in this match. And it's going to be interesting to decide... If this team is going to wait till the second feast before they attack the team, or they're just going to go straight for them, it looks like they're just going to—they're not going in there, or they're sort of not going in the direction of the cornucopia. So I think they're just going to go straight for this team here, which will be interesting. AZ is sort of taking the lead, and then Floppy and Bloxy follow uh, shortly behind them. Uh, let's just go to the videos and see how they're preparing for this. Uh, looks like the, yeah, they're preparing as that iron axe, which actually does the same amount of damage as a stone sword. So I don't know why he wouldn't just use a stone sword. Um, a lot of people mistake that damage difference, but it's the same. They're probably just preparing themselves mentally and physically for this fight against a very elite team that's just dominated everyone in this game. Uh, and ADZ is just very far ahead of his team. I don't know if that's a good idea for him because he could get killed very easily solo. Um, it looks like they're about to fight here. Take some shots on ADZ here. He's going to run around, sort of strafing around them. Let's see, we see a lava being placed. A couple of hits exchanged. Uh, and we're going to see Floppe taking on the video is and this team has just taken out that team just just like that very quickly and a snap no casualties this team has just dominated this entire match here very great display of teamwork by this team just dominating this entire match great job to this team now it's the final three it's up to them to now decide how they're going to do this I know Flop A and ADC have both won two officials, so it would make sense for them to give Bloxy the win. But I don't know if they're just gonna fight to the death. That's usually what teams do, but especially if players have won two officials, it would seem fair to let the person who's never won an official win one. 
that's probably what they're talking about right now in their Skype conversation or TeamSpeak conversation. And I'm making a conclusion that they're talking on Skype or TeamSpeak because they haven't talked in chat very much at all. And they mentioned Addy, which is probably Skype. Um, but this game's coming to a wrap, guys. So, oh, Bloxy in that full gold armor, that full butter armor. And we're going to see how this game is going to end. It'll be interesting to see who wins this match and how they're going to decide. It looks like they're just sort of deciding in the Skype conversation. It might take a little bit, but uh, they should probably make up their decisions soon because uh, it's time for them to fight to their death. So congratulations to his team for winning the match. Um, they did a very good job. We saw them take out one by one every team, every player in this match. Just dominating from the time that they teamed up. They've just been taking everybody out. Very good job by this team. And uh, three great PvPers. We've seen Bloxy in this match really shine because we haven't seen him a lot in a, in a lot of official matches, a lot of Hungercraft games, um, not a not a totally well-known player in the community, but I, I'm sure after this official he'll become fairly well-known um, because he just did a very good job and got a lot of kills, dominated this match, um, and I just don't know if this team is still deciding whether or not how they're going to settle this. It looks like they're separating. They're about to fight. Floppy calls for a countdown. One of the moderators will probably count it down for them. Okay. Looks like they've already decided to fight. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're already fighting. Um, looks like they're sort of strafing. Some arrows being drawn. Some shots being fired. Sort of just strafing around. They don't want to be the first person to attack. Uh, because they're Bloxy. I'm really rooting for Bloxy in this one since he hasn't won. Sort of. Oh, they're about to fight. Bloxy sort of straying away. Um, I would wait until these two fight before you run in and try to attack. Um, oh, and they're fighting. Exchange him hits. Bloxy with a hit on Floppy. I would take out that bow and shoot Floppy since he's low. Very low, probably. ADZ running away, trying to regen. Taking a bit of a coward maneuver there for ADZ. Bloxy trying to get that shot off. Ooh, and just misses there. Pretty close shots by Bloxy. Throwing some snowballs. This is just a very long well strategized fight these players definitely do not want to die oh flappy with a crit on bloxy looks like ag's sort of playing the more cowardly route in this game because he really wants to win bloxy's doing good and floppy is just playing sort of playing it safe adz is really straying away from the combat really doesn't want to fight and die oh and he looks like he's being chased down he's gonna run which if I were him, I would just go for it. He's already won two officials, so you should just fight. Floppy and Bloxy. Floppy gets a huge combo, and he takes him out. Very simple. I don't even think Bloxy hit him once there. It looks like ADC is just going to try to strafe around. And these two are the final two. GG, Bloxy. You did really well in this game. I was really rooting for you to win. It'll be kind of disappointing to see one of these players win. ADC wins his third official, second in a row. GG, ADZ. For winning the match um, gets a huge combo on floppy there good game everybody if you enjoyed the video I please encourage you to subscribe to my channel I post um, minecraft videos all the time and if you enjoy this type of video please click that like button and comment on it if you have any questions or suggestions for my future things all right that is it for today guys and I will see you later peace out